Hey mahi nui, kai te haere te rane e hoa, so we've got a lot to do today. This is the fence <laughs> issue. Kai te kite amato, I mean you can see us, there's no privacy. And also that's the back of the fence, isn't it? That's yeah. right. I mean, instead of re, you know, putting new fence palings on this side, I thought I'd show you a really neat way to use some plants to make a beautiful backdrop to your garden and make it look like something out of a magazine. Hey ngoa, motu hake mo tenei momo whakaritenga. Is there a particular name for this type of hedge and what we're doing here? Yeah, well the, what we're going to do with the hedge today Today is we're going to pleach it, which essentially means trimming up the bottom of the hedge. So they're almost like lollipops. So you've got the beautiful straight trunks coming down, our layers underneath, and then this lovely kind of trimmed hedge up the top. And it does look rather fantastic, I have to say. Ah. Hea ngā tapu tapu e pirangitiana, what do we need today? Right, well first of all we're going to need a good sharp garden spade, some slow release fertiliser, some sheet pallets, a hose and a watering can, pruning saw, some shears and some gardening gloves. So what sort of plants have we got here? Today what I've chosen is ficus tuffy for the hedging plant at the back and this one's virtually indestructible. In the middle I've got irisini here which as it grows it'll actually have a really nice bright pink leaf to it. Koinato here here, is that what you want to have a different pop of colour? Yeah it's just for interest really. I mean I think this garden kind of just naturally lends itself to a tropical scene but this irisini will grow really quite quickly so that's going to bush up even in a matter of a couple of months. Okay. The box, we've got a Japanese box today which is actually faster growing than the English box and I definitely recommend it over the English box. So we go for the big ones first? Yeah let's put the big ones in first because they go at the back. <laughs> Just got to do a good job digging I, these holes. I, he, he did a fabulous job, I have to say. So with your planting hole, particularly for the hedging plants, it's really important to get the depth and the width right. right. So we want a planting hole just a little bit deeper than the bag size and up to twice as wide because we want the roots to go out into the surrounding soil. So this is looking really good. But what we do is when we're planting a hedge, it's always a good idea to put some um, just tree tablets in, which are kind of slow release fertiliser. Okay. And if you put these in at the bottom of the hole like this, they'll be right where they need to be, which is where the roots are. Those are smelly. <laughs> so they're sheep pellets, what are these for? They're really just used for a fertiliser and a soil conditioner. But um, they've got quite a lot of fibre in them, so as they break down they actually do condition the soil. So ah. I love to chuck them in, they're organic and all the rest of that kind of thing. I'm going to do a little bit of back filling here. Yep, that's right, grab that spade. So that's a good effort. Now what do we need to do? Well, now I think we do our pleaching before we do our other rows. Ano herare papa ne. It's going to be like a lollipop. So how far up do you end up going? Well, usually, these are just shorties, so we'll only trim up to about halfway today. Yeah. But when they're fully grown, we'll pleach right up to about a metre. So you have your lollipop stem, and then the hedge will be above that in a nice neat row. Ka aro koe ki taua mahi, so you focus on that. Ka mm. aro ke au ki ngā tipu paku paku. So if I start to look at the little ones, what do I yeah. need to do there? Same thing? Yeah, well first things first, I mean it's really, really important to get the plants spaced out correctly. And because we've pleached, it means that we can space the second row of plants right up close through here. It's so close now. I'm yep. loving these lines. I know, <laughs> lovely and neat, and they'll grow up really nicely and grow into each other and fill up the space really nicely. I think. Na wai, na wai kata huakia to so eventually it's going to look even more beautiful. But what do we yeah. have to do just before we finish off? Well, look, what I always do, even though these are looking a little bit short at the moment, is I actually just trim the top off them because this encourages them to push outwards. And so don't trim a heap off, but just. The top little bit and then they'll push out this way. Maybe that's what happened to me in life. Yeah, you want a haircut? Hang on, they're mahi What is the very last thing we do? We, we do a little chop and then... And then we'll need to give these a really good water and then a layer of mulch and then that's it. Voila! 
I don't know how he did again. It looks like a completely different spot now. It does, doesn't it? And that's all going to grow up in bush art and look really lovely in time. Thanks so much for your Oh, help. you're welcome.